the recession, right? Like, where are we? So here's what I can tell you. Buyer activity on our side is high. Buyers are still buying, pulling the trigger, but they are definitely buying deeper. And, and here's what we've had as a consensus from our buyers. I'm going to talk about this in a few different levels. From our buyers, our buyers, they fundamentally believe in the market. They fundamentally believe that we're not headed for a crash. They are discounting any comps like that got sold above list price. So where there was like a bidding war on any house in the last four or five months, any of those sales that you can, if you see the listing price was 500 and it sold at 580, they're taking that 80K off. They're just saying 500 is the price is mm. what it sold at because that was emotional equity and lenders weren't appraising that. The reason why a lot of those offers got accepted and those houses sold at those ridiculously high prices in those bidding wars is because people were coming to the closing table with cash and they were filling the gap between appraisal and value and actual contract, right? They were filling that, yeah. that appraisal gap. And yeah. so that's not true value. That's not something that we can count on and say that this is like where the market is now. No, that's actually false. That's false value. Right. So. Buyers are buying. They're not using the inflated prices as their ARVs. They're sticking to the list price is what the lender would have appraised that. So that means you have to be buying deeper, right? That means that typically you're going to be about five, possibly 10% below where you might have been 60 days ago in your offers. So for instance, right now for me in Phoenix, I was buying at 70% for cosmetic. Today I'm buying at 62 to 65. Got you. Okay. And, and in every market, it's going to be adjusting down, right? It's going to adjust five to 10% down. So that's something that you're going to see as you talk to more buyers, or if you talk to Jared and you see where the, ask them, say, Hey, what do you see? What percentage of ARV are the buyers pulling the trigger at right now so that I can adjust my numbers accordingly? Right? Hey there. This video is brought to you by Privy. Do yourself a favor and click on the link in the description. Privy can help you find real estate deals at a deep discount. Don't be a jabroni. Click on the linky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Second, I talked to Taylor Marr, who is the head of data and analytics at Redfin. Okay. Huge, huge company that spends millions of dollars on resources. This is what we found. The price increases that happened in 2022 happened for the following reasons. Migration, mm -hmm. millennials, and cheap money. Okay. That was what caused the spike in values. Migration. So Americans moving from high cost markets like California yep. and New York, millennials, millennials coming into the buying market, earning enough money to actually qualify for loans. A lot of millennials sat on the sidelines because they saw their parents get creamed in 2008. And so they were waiting for the right time to head into the market. And yep. pandemic was that right time for a lot of millennials. So it was migration, millennials, and money. Now the cheap money has disappeared, but Cheap in what regard, right? If you look at the history of lending, five and 6% interest rates are actually pretty decent. Yeah. Right. And so what's going to happen is after the summer, we're going to enter into a new norm where people are going to say, oh, a 5% loan, that's normal. Five and a quarter on my loan, that's normal. Mm -hmm. Right. Three and a quarter is not. Yeah. So we will start to see people adjust. Everything is going to shift. Like everybody starts to decide, okay, right now, four and a half or $5 a gallon gas hurts, mm -hmm. but you pay $5 a gallon long enough and it becomes normal. Right. Thanks for watching another one of my YouTube videos. Now it's your turn to go out and take some action. But before you do, like and subscribe to my channel because the law of reciprocity means you owe me.